All right, in this video, we're going to continue to look at hydrates. So sometimes we don't know how many water molecules are actually attached in a formula. we got to figure it out. And one way to do that is through experimentation. We take a mass of the hydrate, and we heat it, and effectively by doing that, we figure out how much of it was water and how much of it was the anhydrate. So in this case, if we had 6 grams of the hydrate, and after heating it, it drops to 5.02 grams, we know this is the anhydrate, assuming we heated it long enough. So if we subtract those two things, we can figure out how much water there must have been in there. And if I do this, I figure out that there were 0.98 grams of water. So that means that this part of the formula, the PBCL2, that contributed 5.02 grams to the hydrate. In this part, the unknown numbers of water, that contributed 0.98 grams to the hydrate's mass. So what we're trying to do is find the ratio between them. For every one of these, how many waters are there? So this is basically an empirical formula problem. We want to get these masses into moles because as grams, they don't tell us a whole lot. So what we do is say, okay, the 5.02 grams all comes from PBCL2. How many moles of PBCL2 is that? So we'll do a quick thing where we find the molar mass. So we've got 1 PB, we've got 2 CLs. So PB is 207.2, chlorine is 35.45, so we're just going to find the mass of this thing overall. So 207.2, because it's just one of them. So 207.2 plus 70.9 gives me a molar mass of 278.1. So remember, that's how many grams there are in one mole of PBCL2. So if you have 5.02 grams of PBCL2, remember this is without the water on it, for every one mole there are 278.1 grams. So we can figure out how many moles of PBCL2 we have. So 278.1, I'm dividing, I get 0.018 moles. So there are 0.018 moles of the PBCL2 only. Now I want to figure out how many moles of water I have. So water, there's two H's and one O, and I'm just going to skip ahead and get that mass. It's 18.02. You can do it yourself. So there's 18.02 grams of water for every one mole. So I have 0.98 grams of water. So I would like to know how many moles that is. So 0.98 grams of water for every one mole. There are 18.02 grams. So 0.98 divided by 18.02. I get 0.054. So let's point. 054 moles. So this is the mole ratio between the PBCL2 and the water. It's 0.018 to 0.054. So again, very much like empirical formulas. The only difference is with empirical formulas, you broke them all up by individual atom. Here, we're considering water to be its own thing and this compound to be its own thing. So we're only dividing it along this line between the solid, the, the ionics part, and the water part. So what is the ratio between these? Remember, the final ratio, you divide each by the smallest number. So if I divide these both by 0.018, I get 1 to 3. So that means there's one PBCL2, which is really what we want, because there's one of them, for every three waters. So that means that the full chemical formula of this hydrate is PBCL2. Remember, this dot doesn't mean multiply. It just means they're attached three water. So it's called lead two chloride trihydrate because there are three of them. So again, this is not a lot different than empirical formulas, but I would suggest making sure you fully understand empirical formulas before you go to this because um, they're related. But if you don't get that one, this will be a little trickier. So anyway, um, that's it. That's, that's how we analyze a hydrate like this. So practice this in the quiz, see how you do with it. Um, but that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.